this is kind of a an after Christmas. It was almost Christmas Day drinking, but we was at family, so I didn't quite quite around to it. Um, but we're now going to review the tinsel toes that comes in the bladder bag that you saw in the previous video, where you literally just add the warm water, make sure your malt extract is dissolved, add your yeast, and you ferment in the bladder bag, and then you dispense. And as you've just seen, which I might overlay over this video, or have just run in after this, it's very simple just to draw a beer off. Um, ideally, you want to move the bag somewhere cooler to allow the um, the sediment and that to drop out and to condition a bit better afterwards. Um, I haven't had that fortune of being able to do that, but it has gone into the kitchen kind of a week before where it's been a little bit cooler, I've got mixed. We haven't done a whole heap of cooking because we've been away. Um, so it has settled, and I've got to admit, I, before drawing the beer off that I've got here, I drew a very small glass off, and you'll see that the tap is a little bit higher than the bottom of the bag. So any yeast that does drop out, you're not going to get all of that. Um, I would say I had a very small glass that was slightly murky. It, it wasn't a whole heat come out. Um, you could have drunk it, but you know I guess most people would just dash that one away. And in terms of clarity for this one, as always, it looks quiet, but you can kind of see my hand passing behind that. But if I'm honest, it's it has a, a very slight haze to it, but given if this was put somewhere a little bit cooler, like if you had the garage that's on the side of your house, or you could put it somewhere a bit cooler before you dispense, I can imagine, like the, the Munson's video that's available on the internet, which I'll link to, it will be crystal clear. And I think that the fact that it's been made in a bag, dispensed in a bag, it's that's pretty good going, I think. Um, I've got a very small cap on it, I've used a widgeted glass. Um, you're not going to expect a overly kind of carbonated beer, you're going for kind of like your, your car scale type things. So don't be expecting, you know, that kind of fizzy and gassiness, but let's dive in. If I'm honest, brutally honest, I would say it maybe lacks a little bit in body. But I would say some kit beers suffer from that anyway. Not a whole heap, but already, look, you can see there's some, I don't know if you can get pick that up, there's some fantastic lacing on the glass there already from this. I've got to admit, the taste is there. It's good for me. It's kind of, how would I pick this? I don't know if it says it on the, the carton, but it's kind of, it's his Angels of Christmas beer. It's called Tinsel Toes. It's quite malty. There's a little bit of back end sweetness to it. A little bit nutty, I'd say. Not, you know, it's kind of got that. Yeah, and a mild kind of the weather sweetness is a little bit fruit cakey, but not, you know, over the top. But I would say it's a very sessionable beer. I think it comes out at where is the percentage? Four point two percent. Um, I don't know if they give you a tasting thing on it to say what it is. Oh, the funny enough, they do say, actually, a dark ruby beer with sweet fruit flavours and hints of Christmas pudding. So, there you go. Um, and I'll, I'll hand on heart, I didn't read that tube prior to to looking at that. And on the on the tube, it's got that kind of... And I would say that's pretty close. If I, if I had a torch to shine through this, but you'll, you've got the window coming through the light there, you can see that it is... I think that's exceptionally clear. And considering that I haven't given it the best that it could have, having that... that much cooler settling this would this would clear down totally and I think you'd be hard pushed to know if you was dispect you know you went to the garage and you got someone a, a glass of this and you told them that you know a few weeks ago prior to Christmas that this was made in a bag and then dispensed from a bag so yeah I'm pretty happy with that and what is quite exciting is the the Woodford's Wherry also comes in this tube now when I first started home brewing, these things weren't available. You you kind of invested in the the full kit, um, like a fermenting bucket, a pressure barrel. And whilst they are still great value for getting into the hobby, if you're kind of you know you, you're not quite sure if you want to get into home brewing or not, and you know you want to have a taste of it, I know people would argue that these at a price point you could buy a kit, spend a bit more and get a bucket, and you're only getting 25 pints from this. But, with that said, if you don't want to, I mean I spoke to a few people that are like, oh, what do I need to get into home brewing? 
and they're unsure about buying this extra equipment, you get everything you need in this tube. All you need is, you know, like, I don't know, eight minutes at the most, some warm water, and a little bit of time, and that is it, and that's everything in that tube, which makes a fantastic Christmas present. You know, I know that's the one aimed at the Christmas market, but, you know, a birthday present, Christmas present, you know, it's all in one tube. Instructions are so easy that, you know, I'm pretty sure that anyone could knock that together. And to get beer that's ready to drink after a matter of weeks that is as clear as that is, is a pretty good thing, I think. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop to get that for someone. If I thought, you know, rather than suggest to them getting a, a bucket and the whole thing, I'd say get one of these first, give it a go, and you know, once you've got the bug and you want to step up, then you can get your bucket and that. But if you was happy with doing these, I mean, to be fair, for a shorter time prior to Christmas, you know, you don't need nothing else, you've got it all. And at the beauty of it at the end of it is you've got, and at the start, sorry, you've got no sterilising to do, because everything comes in a sealed unit. You're adding your warm water, you're adding your yeast, which all come in sealed packets. You close it up, it's got your little tap, you break the seal on it, you dispense from that, and at the end of it, you're just gonna bin that bag. You know, that it's, it's all done, it's all taken care of for, for you, you know. No fuss and, you know, really no mess at all, I would say. So, I can't, for, for taste of beer and the ease of use, it's gotta be a 10 out of 10. I think it's quite a, you know, a revolutionary thing. Let me have another sup for I. Now, I remember someone about two years ago, maybe, that had one of these from another company. I think a few of these were floating around. And uh, they said they'd got one for Christmas and they hadn't brewed it up yet. Um, and I was a bit skeptical, like, you know, how good can a beer taste that's kind of brewed in that bag, fermented out in that bag, and then dispensed from it? I was, I was very skeptical, actually, and I've been eager to try it. Um, and I'd say this hits the nail on the head. You know, I can't comment on the competitors, but in terms of quality, clarity, and taste for this one, it's it's leaps and bounds. I think that's excellent. Yeah, I think this is yeah. This is now the you know the Woodford's Wherry, the the two can kit used to come with a bucket, and that was the gateway for people getting home brewing. If you're unsure and you want to start off with you know your easy simple kits first, <clears throat> this is the new contender in town. You know, I don't know what else to say. It is really good. I, I I'm pleased with that how it tastes and I wouldn't I wouldn't you know I, I'm tempted to get a Woodford's Wherry again soon but um, I'm almost tempted to get one of them just for the ease of use you know it's very easy to you know accommodate in space wise but yeah I'm very pleased very very pleased and it is only the day after Boxing Day and I've got probably 24 and a bit or probably less actually probably 23 pints I did have a sneaky sneaky little taste of the the, the murky one but I would say in the murkiness that came out it was probably less than 300 mils so go get one so that's been tinsel toes but you can get a Woodford's Wherry in this and I'm hoping maybe that they'll do a couple more maybe a sundew or something like that to, to bridge the gap of maybe a dark a light and a Christmas beer for people to try